You've got a blender from that is. Listen, it's all under his hands, so. <laughs> He's got cement in his pan, trying to mix it with a spoon. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Corey Mowey and I'm the performance chef at Hull City. We're here in Beverly today for a special episode of the Tiger's Kitchen. Head chef here at the Pig & Whistle, James Alcock, is going to be putting Louis Coyle and Matty Jacob through their paces today to prove who would really make the best chef in a professional restaurant setting. No pressure. Let's see how they get on. Hi guys, we're here at the Pig & Whistle with Louis Coyle, Matty Jacob. Uh, they're going to do a little head-to-head -head cook-off today. James Alcock's going to show them the sample dish and then they're going to recreate it. Well, let's go inside. Today the lads are going to recreate a new dish that now features on the Pig & Whistles menu. Creamed bass polenta with manchego cheese, caprioli senduja mussels and chive crumb. All the produce from the recipe is available to buy at the Pig Pantry Deli so you can make this at home yourselves. I'm showing them how to do it our way, creating the crumb, creaming the polenta and then frying off the induja mussels. I've not given them any precise measurements, so the challenge is to watch me carefully and do their best to recreate it themselves. To finish, we'll do a taste test and I'll be picking the winner. It's time for them to get cooking. Right, all the best, man. All the best. May the best man win. Indeed. Pleasure. Right, let's get this thing on. Oh, he's gone heavy on the oil. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Matt, you do you, mate. You don't be watching me. Oh, I even eat the oil up, man. It'll be fun. It's cool, boy. So dry, my crumbs. Ah, uh, taking a leaf out of my book, are we? I'm turning it up if it is. Yeah, that's all right. Golden Just going that lovely golden brown colour we asked for. Probably. When you say set to a side, James, I can just... I would just pour it onto that plate. Pour them onto the plate, yeah? Not so, yeah, just to dry them off. Perfect. They're already dry, I can assure <laughs> you. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, you need it golden, mate. Don't see much gold on there. Not too golden, though, because that'd be bent. <laughs> right, next one was... Yeah, so you want to start your stock in one of the smaller pans to get that hot. Right. So you've got a little stock cube down and there's some water at the back. Yeah. Water, water, James, how much do you reckon? That's the one thing I'm not telling you, so... Interesting. I, 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 right then. What's that, James? You definitely need more than that, though, because otherwise you'll be knackered. So... <laughs> yeah. I'm not putting the butter and the cheese in yet, am I? No, so if you just get that stock melted... Yeah. Um, while that's melting, you can grate your cheese if you want. Well, will the stock take long enough for me to... to have time to do this, yeah? Just, there's a little board there if you just want to cut yeah. the rind off. You forgot to crumble it in. Have what? You forgot to crumble it in. It's going to take a while melting that now. Uh, don't worry about me, man. I'm not <laughs> stepping front. I had a little word with Corinne before I came. He said you'd do that. Just cut that rind off. Might make some of this. Great cheese. Thank you, cheers, James. Thank you. Our genie's key. That'll do. You might not need it all, but. I can't remember what that water's for. For the polenta, and then you've got a plate here. And a grater there, you can put it on there for you, for your polenta later. The stock's in there. Right, so that's ready. So then now you want to start your polenta. Which is this stuff. So it's, it's there. What am I doing with that? Also, your milk. What should I do with that? If you just set that aside for when you come to add it to the polenta at the end. 
Uh, I'm working with amateurs behind here, my <laughs> Brilliant. Right, James. So, it's your plenty. This is where I ask you, which is this stuff. Yeah, so straight in the pan. This one? Yep. Yeah. With sort of a, a third of that stock, I would say, and then you want to stir it continually so it doesn't burn. And like I said before, that takes about 10 minutes on a low heat and five minutes on a high heat. So, right, and then same for yourself. So you've got your stock, you can set that aside. And then your polenta. And I would add Good about- Good job there's not a timer on this. About Street a third of that of stock. And again, it wants about 10 minutes on low and about five minutes on high. Is this on low at the minute, James, or high? Low. You could not be down. I'll leave you to it on the polenta. Don't forget that you need some milk at the end after the 10 minutes. You need to season it. And then off the heat, you need to add your oil, butter, and cheese. And then keep it warm while we're going to the mussels. I'm stirring this for 10 minutes. Both of them look sort of like what I made. So. Imagine functioning in this well room after doing all the night feeds I've had to do recently. It's a tough life, mate. You're looking for like a wet mash consistency. It starts to dry out a bit, James. You can add a bit more stock. Yeah, exactly that, yeah. Karim, I'm getting more and more confident as the time goes on, mate. Do you think you're taking an early lead? Yeah. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Amazed at how little help I've asked for, aren't you? I'm going to set a timer, shouldn't I? Ah, that's a rookie mistake. What have I got? <laughs> Did I heck even look at it? Look no, no. Just, made no. It up, you? just made it up, yeah. They both look alright, but neither of them look the same. So. Louis looks a little bit drier. Don't though. tell me that. Do not tell me that. That might be alright though. Don't forget you got the milk to add as well, haven't you? Oh, and, and... drop that in there, James. Love it. Didn't take that into account, did you, Matthew? So we add the milk, don't we, when we've got five minutes for that, Exactly that, yeah. And that's where you sort of finish cooking it out. And you're going to do that on a little bit of a higher heat, so you do have to really be careful about staring it then. You don't think this is going to be yours, do you? The, the problem would be done and we'd just be doing the muscles. So, Sorry, James, i got giddy, mate, when I see this. Ah, he's fatigued. Oh. Actually, I am. This is where the experience takes over, Karim. That's what you do every day for, isn't it, Karim? Improvise. Ooh. You get fed, don't you? Yeah. Very true. In a fashion. This is the quietest I've ever seen you. Who, oh, me? I like it. I'm competitive, Karim, you know me. You got a blender for Matty's. Listen, he's it's all under his hands, so. <laughs> got cement in his pan, trying to mix it with a spoon. <laughs> Off the heat, yeah? Oil and cheese, yeah? There, yeah. Hmm. If I try and cook that a little bit more, will that ruin it? Will I be off that more importantly? It's like mash to me. Let's see, taste all the grains like I just have. Devastated. I went so early on this. Matty's looking very confident. What's the next thing? Muscles, do you? Slice my finger out there. You have? Tiny bit. Like win by default. <laughs> Have you actually sliced it? Genuinely, I think the only good part of this is going to be my breadcrumbs. Oh! <laughs> can't have a bleeder. That's an hygienic, that won't pass. You got any uh, pastas? <laughs> Squeeze it. The old stuff. Put one hand yeah, I didn't sign up for first aid today. I've either got a red hot body stove or freezing. Turn it down. I can't, that's the lowest it goes. Lift the pan up. Matty, you have absolutely <laughs> all over me, I know you have. 
That looks excellent. Man's still got raw and do you all over it. Right, muscles are done. We put the muscles on first or not? I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing now, so. Yours looks better than mine. Yeah, the, it's not cooked. On a serious note though, all the cooking's done, innit? Yeah. Is it just the prepping now? That muscle nice. breadcrumbs. Yep, playing this it is up. bad, you know. I think I've nailed the muscles, but that looks so much better than mine. So does it? Yeah. Ah. James, you wanna keep this for tonight's clients? <laughs> Man didn't move quite as good as yours did. <laughs> You shouldn't have to whip it that hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're mining for gold. Heavy on the end, do you, I think. Who's trying mine? Whoever likes spice. Uh. <laughs> Why are you standing outside? They already prepped one. Ah, it's gone. <laughs> I actually am really proud of that. Regardless of how it tastes, aesthetically, it looks unbelievable. And that is self praise. Oh, but no. Could you do that at home? No. Why not? Because I've had. Help. A, a lot of help. Yep. It's Here's the, what you could have had. I know it's the. That's, sorry, that's what you got. I know. It looks like a fish cake underneath. <laughs> there was no budging when I knocked it. Oh, he's excellent. I just wish mine was cooked, that's the only thing. Mine was Listen. cooked, I'd win. Not being judged yet, son. Yeah, very true. <clears throat> happy? I think I've used everything, yeah. Louis? Am I happy? Yeah. Oh, I'm over the moon. Let's over be judged. Moon. Let's be judged. Let's be judged. So that's mine, that's how it was supposed to be. How did you both find it? Tough. Yeah, it was Very, tough. very tough. tough. Yeah. All right, we'll go with Louis first. It's so dry, it's got no sauce on that. <laughs> Don't even want to look at you, James. I got two bites of his already. Not a good start. It's super close, in fairness. Um, both the muscles are, are good. Yours, you know exactly what you left. You left all the oil and the sauce in the, in the pan. Yeah, yeah. But your polenta's better. But some weird banner stuff in Cuba. Then win it. No better. A one. Yeah. Get in. <laughs> really right, close. Sorry though. to celebrate like that, bit, but I really shocked myself. Super well class. Played. Both both muscles are, 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 are good. I made but, a but, mess but, of that. But, polenta, but, but that, that polenta is like brick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, in thought I, I thought I'd knackered it because as soon as I saw yours, so I'd completely forgot to put that little the bit, bit of stuff of at the bottom of the pan. It's yeah. still too tasty. Both the muscles are good, but, but the polenta edges it. So all the way. But both of you have done a good job. Brilliant, James. Pleasure. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Much. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Guys, big thank you for tuning in uh, and a massive shout out to James and the guys down at Pig and Whistle for, um, for allowing us to come and record this series. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Me and Matty certainly enjoyed it and uh, have learned a thing or two. And uh, follow the Hull City page for more content. Thank you, guys.